Right, my friends, how are we? What is going on? And welcome back to another reaction video. I'm uh, I'm in my van, as you can see, and uh, there's no time to lose. We're getting into, well, we're in the top, the top three quarters of this list. I've done a quarter. We've got three to go, and it's going to happen. It has to. You know, I, I had I had thoughts of skipping, but I'm not going to. We've got number 74 on the list. His name's Ronnie Stanley. He's a tackle for the Baltimore Ravens, and he is in the top 100 players of 2020. What a legend! Let's go. Being a tackle, he's most likely going to be sizable, um, just like these two. I mean, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to give sound bites to the guys who I think are going to be on here, because I mean, in well, all, so I'm, I'm in, in all seriousness, I, I know, but I'm saying in all seriousness, like you know what I'm saying, like you, yeah. you don't want to give a clip a guy that who I think is really good who's not going to be on here. Well, then, absolutely. Have, then there's just no point, obviously, absolutely. I mean, Ronnie Stanley, what do you reckon? Hey. Because then that, that'll make well, it. Really I'm trying to narrow it down. How many linemen are actually on it? Like 12? I'll give, I'll give, I'll give, I'll give you one. He, he's an ascending left tackle. I like the way he's playing. Um, kind of caught my eye when he was younger. And I think it's his fourth year now or fifth. One of them. Uh, um, and the guy I'm talking about. Um, I think Ronnie Stanley is a really good player. Um, see, when he said Ronnie Stanley. Um, I think Ronnie Stanley is a really good player. Uh, the guy on the right actually did not, his expression did not change one bit. Does that mean he agrees or disagrees? Let's find out. His arms look small for a tackle. Maybe that's because he's six foot six. We'll find out. He's a special player, super athletic, can run fast, can do all the run blocks. Oh my god, yep. He's huge. <laughs> He's a giant. Nice. Fuck, he looks young. Left tackle. Left tackle, and he's young like that? Or maybe he's got those anti-aging genetics. Um, let's find out. Ronnie Stanley, what am I gonna say? I'm gonna say he's 25. He's 26. Six foot six. <laughs> 315 pounds, went to Notre Dame. Got picked up in this first round of the 2016 draft. Pick number six by the Baltimore Ravens. Um, worked his way up, slowly but surely, from what I can see. And he's finally made a pro bowl and then first team all pro last year as well so he's he's run a, a 40 yard dash in 520 at that size is, is pretty impressive he, he's still jumping 28 and a half inches so he could most likely do a 360 dunk and he did 24 reps on the bench press he is a big big man he's 26 years of age he had a four year 20.48 million dollar rookie contract which he signed on May 13th, 2016. And on October 30th, 2020, the Ravens signed him to a five-year contract extension worth $112,866,000 in maximum total value, which made, which made him the highest paid offensive lineman in the NFL. Yeah, funny that. That's what you do. You get your rookie contract and you are playing throughout that three or four year period for your next contract. That next contract is where you set yourself up, isn't it? And that's exactly what he did. What a legend. Run the ball, we can pass the ball, we can do it all. Ronnie Stanley was keeping a six foot... 26 years of age. He was 25 at the time. No, he wasn't. He was 26 when he signed the deal. Turned 26 in March. A hundred and twelve million dollars. Safe zone around Lamar Jackson long before social distancing. Anything on the left side, you're confident that it's taken care of the Lamar's protected over there. Well, that's amazing. What a great player to have on your team. He's going up against elite rushers every single week. Against Bosa. San Francisco, Stanley's assignment was defensive rookie of the year, Nick Bosa. That wasn't the game that he pulled his... No, sorry, that's last year. I keep on forgetting that these videos are about last season, not this season. We're already like 10 weeks into the season. I apologize for that. Against Arizona, it was all pro Chandler Jones. I like Chandler Jones. He 
definitely puts stress on the defensive end, puts them in compromising positions, and then he's able just to make it just look easy. Against the Chiefs, Stanley took on 2020's 95th ranked player, Frank Clark. The biggest thing that he does really well to... Well, Clark did stumble. He goes off his right, and then goes off of his left, and he's going to try and look to swipe past and go to his right, but, but no, no, no. Stanley doesn't need to go anywhere. He's six foot six. The biggest thing that he does really well that separates himself is just his consistent fundamental. Oh, I like that. Footwork, run game, footwork. We all like that, don't we? When I told you about the, the mixture of the Are you thinking the same thing I'm thinking? It's proving true. That has got to be the most intellectual fucking statement or sentence I've heard from an NFL player yet. It is proving true. I absolutely loved that. Against the Browns, he matched up with this year's 80th ranked player, Miles Garrett. Ronnie does a good job trusting his technique. Right here. And just being... He looks, he sounds like a nice guy. He's got a soft voice. I like it. Against LA... Stanley was tasked with stopping the number one overall player on last year's Oh, wow! Well, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. That was a great block by Ronnie Stanley. Through it all, Stanley kept the MVP clean, giving up zero sacks. That block on the door slash. Oh, was, mate. That was unbelievable. Right. That made the play. That made the drive. Bro, if you can keep Aaron Donald off the, off the sheet, seriously, I mean, Aaron, fuck no. If you can keep Aaron Donald you know, away from your quarterback successfully throughout a whole entire game. That is something. Wow, I'm not. I'm definitely not surprised he's on the list. Um, great, I enjoyed that, I really did. You know, I really enjoyed that. And I, the thing that I most enjoyed was hearing him speak. And that's just me. So guys, that's another video done. I'm gonna do one more for the day. His name's Fletcher Cox. Uh, he's a defensive tackle for the Eagles. And, uh, well, he, he may have even come up against Ronnie Stanley, I'm not sure. I still haven't got the, the old um, divisions worked out completely in my head. But I know there's easier ones than others. There's easier paths to the Super Bowl than others, but at the end of the day, to get to the Super Bowl and win it is, um, well, it's 1 in 32. It's not a huge chance. Not a huge chance at all, and that's why it means so much to these guys. So, thank you for watching. I would urge you to subscribe if you haven't, um, like the video if you have enjoyed it, and uh, well, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, my friends. Let's have a look at Fletcher Cox.